Hey everyone, in the previous video we implemented Barabasi Albert model which follows preferential attachment that is also called rich getting richer phenomena. In this video sequence we are going to implement a DOS journey model which is used to create random networks. In this model each edge has a fixed probability of being present or absent independent of the other edges. The idea is that we will start with a network with some n nodes with no edges amongst them. Now there are going to be n choose two pairs of nodes in the network. We have to decide whether, we sh whether an edge should be added between the nodes of each of these pairs or not. Now let me explain that uh, method to you using an example. So we'll take the first pair of nodes and we'll take a coin, we'll toss it. If we get a head, we will put an edge between this pair of nodes. If we get a tail, we will not put an edge between this pair of nodes. Then we will take the next pair of uh, nodes and we'll toss the coin and we'll do the same. This we will keep doing for each pair of nodes in the network, which is n choose 2. So in the end, we would have added some number of edges in the network. To generalize and to understand how it actually happens in the network, in the model, uh, we basically take some value of P. So when we toss a coin uh, which is not biased, P is equal to 0 0.5. That is, you get the head and tail with equal probability. However, in the model, we take the value of P from the user or we fixate this value. Uh, it, this can be any value between uh, 0 and 1. So, uh, for example, assume p is equal to 0 0.3. In that case, uh, if, you, if you correlate with the, the example that I gave, uh, the coin will be biased uh, with a probability 0 0.3. That is, head will appear with probability 0 0.3 and tail will appear with probability 0 0.7. Okay? So, uh, that's the whole idea. And you can imagine that if the value of p is high, the more number of edges will be added to the network. And if the value of p is less, then less number of ed edges will be added in the network. If value of p is equal to 0, no edges will get added. If the value of uh, p is equal to 1, then all the edges will uh, be added to the network and it will be a complete graph. So that's the whole idea behind this edos Rainy model. Let's look at the steps that we are going to follow for the implementation. So there are two parameters that are required for implementing this model. Uh, that is n and p, where n is the total number of nodes in the network and p is the value of probability as I told you. Uh, this will be input to the model and based on that only the edges will be added. So we are going to take the value of n from the user and then we will be taking the value of p from the user. So initially um, the network has only the nodes. So we will take an empty graph and we will add n nodes to it and uh, there are no edges in the network as of now. So edges will be added to the network randomly. Now let me explain you how we are going to randomly add the edges. So we are going to take a pair of nodes. Okay. Uh, basically we have to process all the pairs of nodes which is n choose two uh, pairs. We'll take the first pair and we'll get a random number r uh, between 0 and 1. If the value of r is less than or equal to p, we will add an edge between this pair of nodes and if the value of r is greater than greater than p, we will not add, add an edge between this pair of nodes and we will check the next one. We will keep repeating this uh, step, uh, not step 1, uh, step 1 to 3 actually. Okay. Uh, we will keep repeating the first three steps for all possible pair of nodes and by the end after we have processed all the pairs we will we would have added certain number of uh, edges to the network. So this is the whole idea uh, that we are going to follow for the implementation uh, in the next video and we will also see the degree distribution that this kind of network follows. Mm -hmm.